Creating games without writing a single line of code. Game development without programming. As most of us know, programming is a huge part of any game development. Everything from interactive elements to character actions like walking, running, jumping, shooting, or fighting all have to be programmed into a game. So it's not surprising that most people think that in order to develop a game, you have to either know how to program or ideally have a set of programmers on your game development team. But what if you're not a programmer and simply don't have the time or inclination to learn how to code, but still have the desire to create your own game? Or maybe you're more of an artist or creative type of person, and the sheer thought of having to stare at line after line of text on screen day in and day out makes you cringe. But you have the perfect idea for a game, and you just know other people would love it if you could somehow get it developed. What if we told you you could? What if we told you that in many of the major commercial game engines, you can create almost any type of game from scratch without writing a single line of code? So how do you do it? How does someone with little or no programming knowledge or experience create a game that looks and performs identical, if not better, than many of the games on the market today? Whether you're looking to create a platformer, fighter, shooter, racing game, RPG, or anything in between, you can create it without having to learn complex programming languages or programming paradigms by utilizing visual scripting. Visual scripting or visual programming is a gameplay scripting system found in many, if not all, of the major commercial game engines on the market today. In visual scripting, you manipulate elements of syntax or programming elements graphically, rather than by specifying them in text. Simply put, visual scripting uses a visual node-based interface to create simple or complex gameplay elements from within a game's engine. Like the name suggests, visual scripting is a visual approach to a scripting language. As such, the system shares many of the nuances of a standard written scripting language, such as data-typed variables, arrays, structs, etc. Just like in traditional programming and scripting, Variables can be created and defined in a variety of different types, including data types such as game objects, boolean, integer, float, and so on. Visual scripting is also used by many of the top AAA game studios. While oftentimes not their main source of creating programming functionality, its flexible and dynamic range of use tends to vary among teams, studios, and projects. Visual scripting can be as simple or complex as you need it to be. So even if you're not familiar with working with variables, you can still create many different gameplay functions and elements. It's also extremely flexible and powerful since it provides you with the ability to use virtually the full range of concepts and tools generally only available to programmers. One of the key benefits of visual scripting over traditional scripting is it allows you to visually see in real time what each component in your script is doing in the gaming engine. So if a function isn't performing properly, you can pinpoint exactly where the error is. With that being said, let's look at four examples of visual scripting tools found in the two most popular commercial game engines on the market today, Unreal and Unity. And while Unity doesn't natively come with an integrated visual scripting tool, there are quite a few extremely powerful visual scripting plugin tools that can be purchased for Unity. The four examples of visual scripting we'll be looking at today are Blueprint for Unreal 4, Playmaker for Unity, Bolt for Unity, and Uscript for Unity. Unreal Engine's Blueprint Blueprint is Unreal Engine's visual scripting language. It's user-friendly, well-documented, and fairly easy to use, so long as you understand the essentials. It is layered on top of C++ and any code you write can be exposed to and used by Blueprint. You can do many things with Blueprint. Everything from making a game or procedural content tools, to prototyping new functionality, to tweaking and polishing things made by programmers, is possible with the Blueprint's visual scripting system. Unreal Engine 4 has several different types of Blueprints, and each type has their own specific purpose. However, there are a few common blueprint types that you'll likely be using most. The first is the Level Blueprint. The Level Blueprint accomplishes most of what Kismet did in UDK and has similar capabilities. Any level that you create in Unreal Engine 4 has its own Level Blueprint tied to it. The Level Blueprint manages everything from cinematics, checkpoints, and any other level-related tasks. It can also control different actors within the level. 
The class blueprints are what is used to create interactive assets with your level. So, a light switch that the character can turn on, items that they can collect, a door that will open when the player gets close enough. You can also set up things like a sound effect that will be played when a character interacts with a certain element in the game. Blueprint is an extremely powerful visual scripting system inside of Unreal Engine 4 that allows individuals who may not be as comfortable with coding to be able to create games with an easier to understand method. Even if you are experienced in a scripting language, Blueprint allows you to quickly create games, prototypes and interactive functionality without spending all your time coding or without writing a single line of code.